Hi guys! So today I'm doing the 15 random facts about me and um, there's a lot of random facts about me. But let's start off with the video right now. So currently I've actually been sleeping in the guest room which is right next door. It's like back here. My bed is over there. The entrance is over there. Yes. <laughs> I've been sleeping in the guest room currently because my bed is a twin bed. So I'm not sure if this is going to make any sense, but when I got sick with my ear infection that turned, or my throat infection that turned into an ear infection that affected my eyes, that whole shebang um, during the holidays, um, well, my mom was sleeping with me in the guest room because that bed is like a queen bed, so it's pretty big. And um, since mine is a twin, you know, and she was really scared because I have devi de deviated se septum. And um, there's something going on up here which makes my breathing really hard. So there was that going on and my mom was really scared that I was going to choke during sleeping because I develop a lot of mucus when I'm sick because of this whatever is going on in there. But yeah. So I have to get no surgery like really soon because the older I get the more it affects me but not while I'm not sick if that doesn't make sense. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm making sense right now. But yeah, oh that's fact number two. So um yeah. <laughs> um but yeah so continue on with fact number one. Um so after I got sick I decided to keep sleeping there because Robin actually slept with me. And in my bed it's really really hard for him to sleep there since it's a twin bed. I barely fit there so who else can fit there, right? So I was like, um, you know what, I'm gonna keep sleeping in that bed, but I come into my room to do certain things, you know, check out Cinnamon, feed her, interact with her. I don't really touch her as much because she's not really like that. She doesn't like it. And there was like a thing next to my bed which didn't let me have like a bigger bed, so my dad's kind of considering getting a bigger bed for me, so I'm really happy about that. I love mayo. Like, a lot. I really, really love mayo. That's really weird. Like, um, people always look at me and they're like really grossed out. I always put extra mayo in my sandwiches and my tortas. Anything to do with that. And then while I'm cutting it, I also put mayo on the knife so I have like mayo on the edges. Uh, I just love mayo on sandwiches, really. It's so good. Even on hamburgers, like, it's really good. You know? So, yeah. That's, <laughs> that's one of my random facts. I really like Burger King. I don't know why people don't like it. Like, they're really grossed out about it. I grew up with it when I was a little kid. Like, I would always get Burger King. I loved Whoppers, but my dad would never buy me a Whopper because I always used to eat really, really, like, tiny, um... I would eat, um, tiny amounts. There we go. So my dad would always buy me a kid's meal. And he'd never buy me Whoppers, but I love Whoppers, and I can finish Whoppers now because my appetite, it's a little bit bigger than it used to be. <sighs> Sucks. <laughs> but I mean, you know, Robin. Pretty sure you guys all know this, but I love Adventure Time. Like, I'm obsessed with Adventure Time. I okay, you don't know how many times I've wanted to get Comic-Con tickets just to go meet the cast of Adventure Time and the cast of The Walking Dead. It's crazy. It's it's just chaos, I, I swear. I am actually running out of facts because it's so on the spot that you're just like, oh my god. Studio Ghibli is something that, I don't know how to explain it, it just, <clears throat> Studio Ghibli is something I grew up with. People call it Ghibli, I call it Ghibli. Um, What's the correct one? Because I honestly don't know. But I always say Studio Ghibli. Hayao Miyazaki is such an inspirational person. He definitely had the right idea. It really, it brings me so many emotions and feelings whenever I watch these movies. I grew up with them, you know? A lot of people don't know what these movies are because they don't see them as often. Like, I grew up with Kiki's Delivery Service. I grew up with Ponyo, even though that's one of the, like, 
little bit more uh, newer ones from when I was a kid, you know? I don't know if that makes sense. I'm not even making sense right now. But, um, Howl's Moving Castle. I just recently actually watched Spirited Away because I hadn't seen it before. But, um, on top of Poppy Hill, on top, yeah, on top of Poppy Hill, um, those I've watched recently because they have subtitles now. But, um, those films are just something that really, I don't know how to explain it. I, I can't, I don't have words for those movies. You just kind of have to watch them and you'll understand what I mean. But they're really inspiring, I mean. He decided to make the woman the heroine to show them that they didn't need a man to save them. They could be independent and be happy, you know? I, I just really, really like the, um, the lessons, I guess, he's trying to teach. Um, there's a certain word I was looking for, but I think you guys understand what I'm trying to say. Me and or one of my best friends and I share the same birthday. And we're really alike personality-wise, but in um, things that we like, we are not alike at all. Like, he likes EDM music and house music and all this stuff. And I mean, I don't mind it, but I'm more into indie folk. And um, I do like some R&B and I like some rap and stuff, but it's not like the hardcore rap. I'm more into like the pop, pop rap if that makes sense like it's popular you know um i guess another one is that i do like anime i don't watch it as much anymore my first anime ever well everyone's first anime ever is pokemon right but my first actual anime before i even knew what anime was was um oh my second one was digimon and then it was inuyasha inuyasha i was like in love with inuyasha so funny. Currently, my newest game that I have is Until Dawn, which was really good. I really liked it at the moment. I only have three survivors left, so that was really bad. And it helped me understand a little bit more what the butterfly effect was, because at first I didn't have an idea of it. And plus, people don't really mention it that much, so you don't really know. And, um... No one taught it to me, so I was just like, okay, I don't really understand what the butterfly effect is, but... That whole video game just cleared everything up. I have a pen pal. <laughs> if you guys haven't seen those videos, random facts. I love, I love, 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 love tempura. If I could eat tempura every single day for the rest of my life, I'd be so happy. Except for onion. I, I don't like onion tempura. No, I don't like onion in my tempura. No. I don't like broccoli, but I mean I can manage it if it, I have the sauce, but if not, then no broccoli either. I really like the sweet potato, and that's the first time I've ever eaten sweet potato. I thought it was carrot for like the whole time, past three years or something. I thought tempura had carrots in it, but it was sweet potato. My dream since I was 12 has been to go to Japan. That's, that's seriously been my dream. I am 20 now. I don't know when my dream's gonna come true. I'm hoping this year because I just, you know, the more time passes and the less your dream comes true, it just kind of becomes that. It just becomes a dream. So you stop taking it so seriously and you begin to let it go. So I'm really hoping that this is the year I wanted to go to Japan last year, because in Japan, when you turn 20, it's like, when you turn 18 here, you're an adult, or when you have your quinceanera in Mex and you're Mexican, because that means you're stepped to womanhood, when you turn 21 here, because it gives you privileges, when you turn 20 in Japan, it's a big thing. I am 20 now. I did not get to celebrate my 20th birthday in Japan. But I mean, if I go, I'm probably going to say I'm 20, so... <laughs> I mean, it's just a year off, you know? And my pen pal, um, she is actually two months older than me. So she had her birthday in Japan. And, well, she, she lives in Japan. But she sent me these beautiful pictures of her and how they dressed her up and everything. It was just beautiful, you know? It was something I really wanted to experience. 
<clears throat> but yeah, I don't know how many facts those were because I stopped counting and I got really confused when I was counting. So, <laughs> um, whatever it says on the screen is how many facts there is. Tell me what your biggest dream is right now. And if you don't know, that's completely fine because you have the rest of your life. And no one is telling you you need to know your dream right now. You're just starting. So, tell me what your dream is if you know what it is. And if you don't, then that's okay. You know? You can tell me one of your smaller dreams or, or something that you, you think might lead you to that dream. I don't know if that makes sense. But, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and um, I'll see you guys all next week. <laughs>